lamppost. Right. Okay. Ever tried crossing a city blindfolded? That, in effect, is what visually impaired people do every day. And as I found, even with the help of a guide, it's frightening. This is really difficult to and traverse. These are all the things that you have to think about. Ooh. You know, for the challenges people with sight loss, they have to think about this on a daily basis. But now, new technology which gives you audio signals to guide you on a journey could help. So all I'm getting at the moment is clippity clop on the ping. Exactly. The headset so works by linking to a mobile phone and to devices called beacons, which locate specific objects, bus stops, shops, and so on. Shinfield Road bus stop. Shinfield Road bus stop. Main residential road leading to Shinfield Road for local shops or Heartland Road. The technology is being trialled on a route in Reading. Kirsty Grice, who has been totally blind for 11 years, has been a tester, and she says it's given her a new sense of freedom. It gives me masses of confidence now because it means that I've got more freedom to be more spontaneous. I don't have to just go to places that I already know. It enables me to try different locations, be able to go independently somewhere without taking a friend. Number 9 bus to Reading Station. On the bus, the headset provides more information. There are 18 stops before yours. The project is just a pilot at the moment. Turning it into a real service would involve major investment. So this system gives you a sort of 3D surround sound picture of your world, and it's pretty impressive. But for this system to take off on a big scale, you'd need these beacons to be put just about everywhere, from the bus to the train to supermarkets to every lamppost. The original idea for this project came from a Microsoft engineer who is himself blind. He has big ambitions for it. I can't see a reason why this shouldn't become standard in people's lives. The technology that's, a, that's, that's required in order to make this possible is here and available now. Road leading to Whitleywood Road. Nearly 200,000 visually impaired people in Britain hardly ever leave home because they lack confidence. The hope is that one day soon this kind of system could help them step out with confidence. Rory Catlin-Jones, BBC News, Reading.